This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on screen shout outs, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today I want to zag when everyone else zigs. Get it? Before we get into today's topic, 30% of you guys that watch are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Help me get my short-term goal of 10K subscribers. This morning, I came across an article on ebonybird.com titled, Three Super Bowl Players the Baltimore Ravens Must Pursue in Free Agency by Mike Luciano. Now, the first two names the article mentioned didn't move me much at all. It was the Chiefs guard Nick Allegretti who filled in admirably for Joe Tooney in the Chiefs' last two games. The next name, Javon Kinlaw. With Matt BK about to command so much money in free agency, there may be a hole at interior D-line for us next year. This last name really sparked my interest, and I think it will be a home run move for Erie DaCosta in free agency. Meet Willie Gay, a Mississippi native and a menace to one of my game plans from back in the day. 6'2", 243-pound linebacker that is not a true Mike, so he could be a replacement for Pat Queen. I personally am not sold on Simpson yet, so I'm exploring all options here. Let's talk about Gay for a minute. He's played 10 less games in PQ. He has the same number of interceptions as Pat with four. He only has five sacks, but with Chris Jones in front of him, there is no need to manufacture pressure from the linebacker position. He's a two-time Super Bowl winner, so that winning pedigree would be a welcome addition in the locker room, in my opinion. Now, Pat has almost doubled him in tackles and tackles for loss. But Pat has also doubled him in snaps played as well, 3,831 to 1,936. Willie has fresh tires on him if you get my drift. He hasn't been used as much. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, hit that like button. And if you're really feeling it, share it on your socials. I'd really appreciate that. Let's see what the projections are to sign Willie and if Baltimore can really afford him. We know keeping PQ is at least going to cost us $18 plus million. We have Simpson, but we don't know if he's ready yet to be the man. According to SportTrack.com, Willie Gay could command around $7 million per year with a total estimation of four years in the $28 million range. I like that number for a player with Gay's talent level and playoff experience. Even if we go for two years, $14 million to give Simpson a little bit more time to get himself together. I know a lot of you are ready to go all in with Trent Simpson. Put it in the comment section if you think Willie Gay would be a good alternative to Simpson and a replacement for PQ. This is Coach Evans coming to you with another banger video. If you like what you've seen so far, tap the like button. Then hit subscribe if you're new. And the notification bell if you haven't done so already. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me, and I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.